but how many of you remember live type? <laughs> Were you around even? Okay, the nostalgia here is like almost killing me. I think my time machine backups are maybe just a little bit behind. Greetings, Internet! Crazy Ken is back, and today I have an overly elaborate plan to convert a Final Cut Pro 7 file into a Premiere file. Little bit of background here. There's a hard drive over there. This is my plan. I need to take a Final Cut Pro 7 file off of that hard drive and essentially convert it to Premiere Pro. However, I needed to get this older Mac with an older operating system, aka Lion, to run the older Final Cut software. This will help me open up the file, and then the plan is to export the file to XML, transfer the XML to my current MacBook Pro, open up the XML in Send to 10, and then convert that XML to a Premiere Pro project format. Did all that make sense? I hope it did it better. Let's go. Okay. So, let's take a look at our applications that are installed on this old iMac. Lots of old goodies on here. Check this out. Yeah, let's just go on a nostalgia trip, huh? The old FaceTime logo, huh? Yeah. Um, oh man, what is this? What is this? Go to me. Oh, go to meeting 5.1. Oh, oh, hey, hey, iDVD. Hey, you remember iPhoto, iChat? Like none of that stuff that exists anymore. Silverlight. I don't think anyone wants to remember Silverlight. Or hey, look, Net Extender. I'm sure that's a thing. Anyway, back to the entree for today. Final Cut Pro. Seven. Okay, so the primary scratch disk was actually pulled up as the external hard drive, so maybe that's a good <laughs> sign so far. Unable to locate the following external devices. Apple Firewire NTSC 720x480. Does this not date this or what? We're just going to continue because we're not actually interested with that. So anyway, this is the older Final Cut Pro 7 interface. I think this is probably due for a software showcase episode or something, huh? Yeah, um, all those Final Cut Pro 10 users, I love you, but hey, this is what we used to have to deal with. I'm hoping I can just go to File, and I want to open the project, but honestly, there's probably going to be a lot of offline media. How many offline files do you bet there's, there's going to be? Probably like 500. <laughs> now, everything has been the same. You know, the, the client gave me this. I didn't change any names of any files or hard drives or folders or anything, so if it's all linked up the way it should be... Theoretically, it should just open up and work, but there could be files all over the place. This was last modified, oh, well, it says today because I moved the file today, but realistically, the file probably hasn't been touched in three or four years, probably? Maybe even longer. All right, choose. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Son of a bitch, everything is here, not a single offline file. The whole timeline, too. Holy... Whoa! I, I did not... Wow, this actually worked. I didn't get a single error message. Wow, this actually scrubs pretty smooth for a... What, how old is this computer now? A decade old? Wow, this is actually surprisingly smooth. Hang on, I'm going to enjoy this for a bit. Wow, and it, it doesn't even drop a frame. This... Holy shit, guys! All right, um, good, awesome start. Okay, the nostalgia here is like almost killing me. This is really cool. The only thing is, I had the impression that I was looking for an individual timeline I would have to convert. I actually don't see any final cut inside this whole project. All I see are these interview assemblies. So I'm not sure if I was sent the right file or not. I'm pretty sure the file I was supposed to receive was sent via email to someone, and then that person sent me the Final Cut file. So I'm guessing it's the only one they had and the only one they were looking for. But honestly, I don't know if this is the right one because, again, all I see are assemblies. I don't actually see a Final Cut anywhere. However, since I've got nothing else to do with my time... Let's just convert this shit anyway. All right, so here is my theory. We should just be able to go to File and Export. Let's see, what do we got under Oh, okay. Export. And... Hang on a second. Let me see if I gotta maybe click down here in the sequence. File, Export. For Live Type. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I, I know we have kind of a wide range of demographics in our audience here. 
but how many of you remember live type? <laughs> Were you around even? <laughs> uh, I kid, but seriously. Um, man, this is really nostalgic. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Anyway, um, XML, this is what we need. So what I'm thinking... Uh, I'm guessing it's the fifth one? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. Uh, we're just going to try that. Um, because send to 10, I think, only works with XML files. Uh, okay, so now it's giving me a location. We'll just, we'll just save that to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll save it, we'll save it to the disk. Oh my gosh, that old modal window. Oh, I don't miss that. Yeah, that's something you don't see in Final Cut Pro 10 anymore. <laughs> okay, the XML file is now on the USB disk. Let's quit out of here. Switch to the MacBook Pro and see what happens. Oh yeah, I think my time machine backups are maybe just a little bit behind October 26, 2013. Okay, so that was what, four years ago? Yeah, no, no big deal, no big deal. All right, gents and lades, let's plug her in. I'm assuming the gender of this hard drive is a girl. I am sorry. Again, there's already these Premiere files on here, so I don't know if those are different than what they want me to convert. But hey, I'm labor, not management. So I'm going to take that XML file and see if that does anything. And again, I don't know if this Final Cut file is different than any of these Premiere files, but just doing what I was told. So let's open up Send to 10. For those who don't know what this is, this is a program that can convert Premiere files and Final Cut Pro 7 files, well, not files, but XML data, into an XML format that Final Cut Pro 10 can read. And there are some times when working with older stuff where this has saved my butt. And we're going to try it yet again. So, um, I just realized a big flaw in my plan. I don't think this actually can save to a Premiere format. Oh, shit. I think there's a huge hole in my plan. Um, I may need to get a different program to do that. Oh, I didn't think about that earlier. Um, all right, so send to Final Cut Pro 10. Save XML file. Oof, well, yeah, there's no Premiere option. All right, well, for shits and giggles, let's at least open it up in Final Cut Pro 10. Maybe I just need to research a way to get from Final Cut Pro 10 to Premiere. You know what? Hang on. I think Premiere can import... Hang on, time out, time out, time out. I think Premiere can actually import Final Cut Pro 7 XML, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, shall we try it? Let's try it, right? Come on, what do we got to lose? Nope, just import. Okay, um, we'll just do an import then, if you say so, and see what happens. Okay, we got clips. Do we have a sequence? Yes, this should be a sequence right here. Boom! Plan worked. I didn't even need to use send to 10. Because Premiere apparently just opens up Final Cut Pro 7 XML anyway. I mean, it must be an older standard that just works. But yeah, there it is. It's generating the peak files right now. Here's the timeline. So it worked. I just don't know if this is the actual timeline that they wanted. So I'm going to have to give them a jingle and get back to y'all. I'm Southern now. Yeah, I'm just checking the timeline. Looks good. Uh, it's done generating peak files. Everything looks good. Just kind of scrubbing through. Let's take a look at those thumbnails. Thumbnails look good. Basically, I'm just going to not even bother, like, saving the projects right now because the XML can all be opened up on any system with Premiere, apparently, or, you know, at least a newer version of Premiere. So I'm just going to give them the XML files as the deliverables, and then they can do what they want. But again, I'm going to have to contact these guys and make sure I'm actually converting the right stuff because, again, I didn't see a final cut in there. I only saw assemblies. So I will check that out. Well, it's about a week after the last update in the tech video log, and uh, I heard back from the gentleman that originally gave me the job, and it turns out I actually did what they wanted me to do. Uh, but I still got called an asshat a lot. I don't know. It seems to be his favorite word. I thought that was my favorite word. But anyway, it worked! <laughs> and with one step less than I originally thought. That is unprecedented for this show. Am I somehow getting good luck now? Now, hang on, that can't happen. Because if that does, then I'm going to be out of the job. I mean, you guys watch these video logs because, because of the curse. Because things get screwed up. Things can't keep going well. That's a problem. Because then I'm going to be screwed. 
So things have to go wrong. So here's what I petition, so to speak. Give me some thoughts. Give me some thoughts of some projects you want to see me accomplish. And don't just throw them at me because you know they're going to be impossible. Just give me some ideas and I'll kind of see what they do to me. If they make me yank my hair out, then you get a cookie or something. You know, I'll kind of score it depending on how much it screws with my head. So yeah, give me some project ideas or like some IT tasks, you know. Just throw them out there. I'll see if I can do them on this show. But for now, that was a piece of cake. That was unexpected. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future.